we've got 10 questions, Conrad, that you wrote. Um, so what we want to do is we've got 10 questions, and some of the questions have an extra credit component. Um, all of them are multiple choice, so it'll be easy to answer. Um, except for the extra credit parts, those will require actual actual words. The, the winner of the trivia contest will win a made in Torrington and designed in Torrington uh, John Brown t-shirt with a Black Lives Matter slogan on the back. Um, the art is really cool. It was painted by a Torrington artist. And, um, and so whatever size you want um, is, is what the winner gets on this. Right. And we're what off. Is, what is John Brown's exact birth date, month, day, and year? May 9th, 1800, May 14th, 1800, May 9th, 1806, or May 14th, 1806? Can I give a can I give a hint? You can give a hint. Mark gave half the answer already. He did. <laughs> yes. And today's date might be a clue, but it might not be a clue also. So there's that. Don't fudge this answer up. <laughs> All right, number two, because it's a lightning round, we move on. In John Brown's lifetime, the number of enslaved people in America, A, doubled, B, tripled, C, quadrupled, or D, was impossible to count. Hint, hint. Mark gave the answer. I remember that answer, too. That was a cupcake. All right. Number three, how many children did John Brown father? Okay, this one wasn't in the talk, so this one is just gonna rely on your memory. He gave the answer. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, it was in the, I yeah. just wasn't listening. Oh, no, I take no credit for mentioning that. Oh. <laughs> but well, I don't you get a 25% 20, chance of getting it right. <laughs> and then the extra credit, you, I, I didn't write the extra credit on the screen, uh, it's on my notes though. Extra credit is how many dialed, how many died in childhood of those group. The t-shirt was, uh, the art was created by Joe Coppler and yeah. the shirt was made by Rachel Harrell. Oh, thank you Rachel, she, I think she's on the call too. Yes. Yes, she is. All right, number four, in his lifetime, which person did Brown not meet? Was it Frederick Douglass, Harriet Tubman, John Wilkes Booth, or Henry David Thoreau? So, so this one, one wasn't. He did not meet. This one wasn't necessarily in the, the conversation, but I think it can be extrapolated by some of the quotes we showed. True. And common sense. Extrapolation. And a little piece of extra credit, which is a crazy piece of trivia. What connection did John Wilkes Booth have to John Brown? That's Ooh. just extra. I wanted to get the Jeopardy theme song to be playing in the background, but I forgot. Well, we'd probably get sued anyway. All okay. right, number five. How many of John Brown's sons fought with him at Harper's Ferry? Three, one, seven, or four? So how many of Brown's sons fought alongside him at Harper's Ferry? Extra credit if you know how many of his sons died at the raid in Harper's Ferry. I think we, should, we can move on? Yes. Number six, who said I could live for the slave, but Brown could die for him? Was it Harriet Tubman, Frederick Douglass, Matt Turner or Abraham Lincoln? This was literally on the screen a little while it ago. It was, indeed. So that's a softball right there. That's a softball right there. <laughs> Everyone should get this one right. Number seven, in what month was Brown hanged? Was it July, April, Wednesday, or December? <laughs> you gotta put For on all your of the <laughs> Okay, that seems easy enough to guess. <laughs> All right. Number eight, John Brown's body lies a moldering in what U.S. state? Is it New York, Connecticut, West Virginia, or Ohio? Ooh, it could be any one of those. They're all good choices. You could all... But there's only one right answer. Any of those. Number nine. 
Brown's birthplace here in Torrington burned down in 1918 due to arson, forest fire, chimney fire, or unknown origin? I think I know the answer to that one. And we're gonna hit the last question now. Number 10, the hiking trail around Brown's birth site is <coughs> more than a mile with scenic overlooks, less than a mile with scenic overlooks, two miles and flat, or less than a mile and flat. So, type in all of your answers in the chat box and message them to me. So open up that chat box, write all of your answers, direct it to Conrad for the chance to win the official John Brown Torrington t-shirt, made in Torrington, designed in Torrington, and um, something else in Torrington, one in Torrington. Thanks Joe Coppola, thanks Rachel Harrell. <laughs>